Hello, welcome to this DCS A10C2 tutorial. In this video, I will cover how to program and utilize your radio for interplane communications. On that note, there are three radios in this aircraft, a UHF for interplane and two VHF, one for high and one for low band that are used generally for JTAC or ground communication. I will briefly touch on programming these, but I will focus on UHF. So for your UHF radio, if you are utilizing the in-game uh, voice chat functions, when you search VoIP, you will see three options. VoIP for hat switch down is what you will utilize for the UHF interplane radio. Now that that's out of the way, we can talk about our radio. Here we can see what our UHF radio is currently tuned to, in this case 251. And down here we can see our UHF radio control panel. In order to program the UHF controls, we can utilize these knobs here. This knob for this digit indicated by the line, this knob for this digit, and so on. So if I wanted to tune to frequency 350, I'll rotate the knob to the 3. 5 is already appropriate, and tune this knob to 0. Now I'm on channel 350 which we can see on our repeater here. And on our in-game voice chat here. This can be set manually as such, as long as our radio knob is in the manual position here. If we change this knob to preset, our radio is now controlled by our preset channel here. In order to set a preset channel, we would select the appropriate one. So let's say I wanted to program three. I would tune the radio to what I wanted. In this case, let's say 356. I would lift this cover and then hit load. Now channel three preset is saved as 356. I can close this cover. And now if I change these channels, we can see the channels changing up here to the presets because we are in preset mode here. And we can also see on our UHF repeater, it shows we are on preset channel six. The volume for this radio is controlled with this volume knob here. If we wish to use our VHF radios, our VHF high band is located here. And it can be tuned similarly utilizing these knobs. We can see the channel changing there. If we wish to program our VHF low band, we could use this VHF panel here, and we can see it changing. That is how to utilize the radios. If we wish to change specific volumes, we can choose, we can mess with these in here. So we could use the selector to choose the channel pertaining to the radios, VHF for the AM, FM for the FM, the volume knob, and then there are other volume knobs here. There's one for UHF, VHF, FM, and a slew of options.
that covers everything dealing with the A10C2's radio. I hope it helped. Thanks for watching.